After missing out on the last Olympic Games stage in Tokyo in 2022, Banyana Banyana aren't leaving anything to chance. The South Africans want to be one of the two nations that will represent the African continent at this year's women football competition at the Paris Olympic Games. Banyana Banyana had their final training session at the Mombela Stadium on Monday afternoon ahead of the second leg of their tie against Tanzania. Coach Desiree Ellis was happy with the enthusiasm and the intensity shown by the players at training. The comfort of home is always encouraging. The comfort of being at home after getting such a positive result will really uplift everyone in the team. And as you can see, you know, the enthusiasm tonight at training, the commitment, the intensity, it's everything we ask for just before the game. Banyana Banyana will renew their rivalry with Nigeria Super Falcons in the final round of qualifiers should they win the tie against Tanzania. Despite the comfortable and healthy 3 0 lead, Banyana aren't yet thinking that far ahead as there's still some work to do. We know a tie is not over yet. We have to make sure that we, that we stay professional and stay um, you know, organized and not concede to make sure we get a, a, a similar result in the, in, the, in, the, in the home leg. Meanwhile, forward German Soposin, who scored Banyana Banyana's first goal in Dar es Salaam, will join an elite group of 10 players to earn a 100th cap for Banyana Banyana this evening. The 30-year-old who is based in Mexico says it's a great honor and privilege for her to have been given the opportunity to play for the team for such a long time. I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, I'm at this milestone. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's next for me after this. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe early retirement. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a privilege and an honor to step on this field for the for a hundredth time for, for South Africa. And hopefully it could be a good one tomorrow. This evening's second leg of the tie will kick off at half past seven at the Mbombela Stadium with the gates opening at five o'clock. Pesinka to ABC News.